In Pakistan, where I was born, I was denied an education because of my refugee status. And then in New Zealand, um, unfortunately, despite the access to education, I was demotivated when I was in high school um, when a careers advisor told me that I should consider other options because law school would be too difficult for someone like me, uh, meaning a refugee with no history of uh, education in the family. People like me didn't finish school, let alone end up at university. Uh, all our lives, we are trained to survive. Being a refugee means that our existence is based on just trying to survive just another day and to reach safety. And that's all we ever dreamed of. So wanting more than safety and survival in that context seemed ungrateful. And yet there I was, whereas the ungrateful refugee dreaming of things that were not really supposed to be for me, such as going to law school. But to me, it was not just about studying law. Um, it was about all the barriers, the stereotypes and the assumptions that I wanted to crush to prove that we as refugees could dream bigger than the constraints of our identities and experiences allowed. And it was about taking back control of our lives and one day hopefully being able to influence the laws um, that apply to people who are displaced as I once was. And so now I'm a Harvard educated lawyer fighting for refugee youth to have access to education. And that's why I founded Empower to address the critical gap of refugee youth in education and to change those statistics.